public participation inquiry. What we have found out so far. What is the inquiry about? In spring 2022, the Citizen Participation and Public Petitions Committee launched an inquiry into how people's voices are heard in the work of the Scottish Parliament. We want to hear from people across Scotland, particularly when we're looking at new laws or policies that affect them. This is important because just now we know that the Scottish Parliament doesn't hear from some groups or communities. We want to make sure that the views and opinions of everyone in Scotland are included in the work of the Parliament. The inquiry started with us consulting with people across Scotland. We heard from more than 460 people and organisations. This video shares the key points from what people told us. What people told us. Although people with protected characteristics are underrepresented in the work of the Scottish Parliament, people said those with a low income are most likely to be underrepresented. Protected characteristics are things to do with a person like age, race, disability and sexual orientation. People from disadvantaged backgrounds don't feel that engaging with the Scottish Parliament is worthwhile. People often struggle to engage in the work of the Scottish Parliament as they don't feel that members of the Scottish Parliament, MSPs, reflect them or their community's needs and concerns. Education plays a vital role in making it easier for people to become involved in the work of the Scottish Parliament. Cross-party groups are integral to the involvement of minority groups and those with protected characteristics in the work of the Scottish Parliament. Cross-party groups are groups of MSPs and other people who are interested in a subject or issue. The Scottish Parliament needs to do more to tell people about what it does to involve everyone in its work. This is important because people who get involved are positive about the experience. Strengthening trust in politics and politicians is essential to successfully involving people in the work of the Scottish Parliament. Breaking down barriers to participation will improve the diversity of participation and opinions in the work of the Scottish Parliament. Intersectionality Many people said if people have more than one of the characteristics that might mean they're less likely to speak to us, they may be even less likely to engage. Money People link money and income closely to education levels, employment status, time and age. If you have more money, you may find it easier to overcome other barriers. Time. This is linked to money when it comes to employment types and childcare. But people also said if they were very busy, they had to feel taking part was worth their time. Incentive. People need an incentive to take part, to feel like it's worth it. To do this, they need to trust us and the process. 
having more education might mean you understand your role more. But some people also thought well-off people might feel their voice is more likely to be heard. Education. People need to understand political systems to see where they fit in and to know how to be involved. This starts at school. A lot of people said they didn't know what the Scottish Parliament does for them and a lot of people said that our language is intimidating. Politicians and Parliament staff need to learn more about the types of people they're engaging with. Trust. A lot of people have lost trust in politics and politicians because they don't feel heard or represented. The media plays a part, but some people have engaged with us and not seen their voice have an impact on policy. So they have lost trust. Fear or intimidation. People need to feel safe taking part and that they are not at risk of intimidation or bullying, including online. Some people aren't comfortable in a formal environment. Representation. People will trust us more if they see more people like themselves represented in our work. People from minority groups, but also people from low income or deprived backgrounds, people from rural areas and children and young people. We could tell people more about our work with these groups. Resource. People thought more resource was needed to tackle all the other barriers. This means more time and money to help people to be involved and have their voice heard. This could be targeted at education, at support services and the voluntary sector, and at the Scottish Parliament's engagement services, for instance, helping to cover people's costs when they participate. What happens next? The public participation inquiry has not finished. We are still finding out information. For example, a small group of people from across Scotland will meet at the Scottish Parliament in October and November. They will talk about what people have told us and give us ideas for getting more people involved in what the Scottish Parliament does. At the end of the inquiry, we will suggest improvements the Scottish Parliament can make based on what people have told us. Find out more. If you would like to find out more about our work, and how you can share your views, please contact us. You can contact us in any language. Email petitions.committee at parliament.scot Phone 0131 348 5254 You can call in BSL through contactscotland-bsl.org Address The Citizen Participation and Public Petitions Committee The Scottish Parliament Edinburgh, EH 99, 1SP.